Okay, so sharing your screen in a flex room. Uh, very simple, there's a couple things you need to know uh, to ensure success. So you'll notice again, we have two screens. One of them is our interactive monitor. Now this is the monitor we want you to use for sharing within Zoom. It is also the monitor that is mirrored to the projector in the classroom. So the students will always see what, what is on this screen. So we wanna replicate that in Zoom so that there's no confusion as to what the students are seeing in Zoom and what the students are seeing in the classroom. So we've, go ahead and, uh, we've gone ahead and labeled it up top, primary display to give you another hint. This is where you want to share uh, when in Zoom when selecting a screen. So we're gonna go right into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit share my screen. And once I get that share screen method uh, option, sorry, we're gonna go ahead and pick screen number two. Now, Zoom does a pretty good job of labeling the screens for you, right? So on the top right-hand corner, I see a number one here, and over here I see a number two. So if I press number two, it's gonna share that screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share. And now I am sharing this screen over here uh, that we mentioned earlier. I'll bring my controls in so you can see. And I'm gonna minimize this video right here. So I'm now sharing this. Whatever I pull up, obviously, is what's gonna show, again, in-person students and remote students. So you know the website or whatnot is sitting here. Now, this is where that second screen comes into play and really helps you in these scenarios. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my meeting controls, which although normally the student's remote cannot see, Zoom hides it, the students in class can see it. So it might be distracting. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over to this display that nobody can see. So again, this is my aux monitor. No one can see what's going on here. Uh, so I'll bring my controls right here. You'll notice in this little corner to the top, you might be able to make it out. Um, there's a small image and that's me. If there was more video participants on this call, you would see their video on there. We can enlarge it, go to gallery view. You can see your students if they're sharing video. All that can be out to the side. Once you're sharing your screen in Zoom, your controls will now pop out that option. And what I mean by that is, um, if I were to, for example, participants, if I click that, you'll notice that a little pop-up came out here and I can kind of drag that over and you know extend it, bring it around and kind of get myself comfortable with everything I wanna see. I wanna see all my students, for example. Uh, if I use the chat feature, I can pop that out and leave that open on another window to see any questions coming in um, or, or whatnot. If I had content, if I'm using a PowerPoint, I have my notes, I can keep that on this screen, again, off the projector and off of, uh, off of Zoom just for myself. So think of this as your personal little workspace uh, workbench to pull from and maybe drag in content to the screen that you're sharing whenever you wanna share it. So that's pretty much best practices, how to share your screen in one of these flex rooms. Again, primary display, you always wanna share the interactive monitor, which is the one that has the pen, it's the larger one. It also has a primary display sticker on top. Um, that's the one that's always gonna to show to the classroom. And that's the one you wanna show in Zoom when sharing your screen.